welcome back to our channel. Uh, hey! <laughs> Stop talking! You're it out. We are in Santa Cruz, the beautiful, beautiful Santa Cruz, and we're parked a little further down from the boardwalk. We spent the last two days just kind of kicking it, hanging out, exploring the area, and then picking last, up bottles. Picking up bottles. Lots of bottles. Look at all these bottles that we've picked up. Trash bags for days. So we're about to make some lunch, and then we're shooting off to. Home Depot to get a couple supplies for the candles and then we're going to San Jose for the night and along our way along our travels to San Jose which is only like an hour drive um, we're gonna be laying down some knowledge in another two minute Tuesday so this is the end of that intro and now we're gonna be queuing the second intro to the intro of the intro <laughs> for two minute Tuesday <laughs> Our two minute Tuesday. Today's episode is going to be about bathrooms and how people in van life go to the bathroom and shower. So the thing about bathrooms in van life is that you're either going to be putting them inside of your van or you're going to be using them outside. So we're going to share with you guys the pros and cons of each. But before we do that, we need to head to San Jose before we hit the traffic. <laughs> Let's talk about showers. There's pros and cons to having a shower inside of your van. The pros would be that you get to shower whenever and wherever you want. Whereas the cons would be you'd have to carry two huge water tanks, one clean water and one gray water, which you have to figure out places where you can dump that legally. Also, if you have a shower in your van, you're gonna need to have running water. And if that's the case and you're traveling through cold weather, those pipes could freeze overnight and that would be some serious headaches. So if you don't want to have a shower in your bus, then you have three different options. The first one would be a solar shower. Jordan and I used a solar shower. It was a five gallon. They ranged from anywhere between two to five gallons. Um, and we each shared a five gallon and that was perfect. Basically, it's just a thermal bag that you fill up with water and you put out in the sun and it heats it up to almost like 120 degrees, which is perfect. On the other hand, the cons of the solar shower is that when it starts to get really cool out, it sucks showering outside in the cold weather. Second option would be rivers, which Jordan and I used as well. Uh, when we were in Boise, the Boise River was a perfect go-to. It's a really cool experience, but you just have to make sure that if you choose to do that, you want to get um, some type of like eco-friendly or organic soap because you don't want to be messing with the rivers. The bad thing about the rivers is the same kind of thing about the solar showers. It sucks when it's cold outside. It is not going to be an enjoyable experience at all. And the final option, which is something that Jordan and I caved into doing about like a month and a half, two months in, um, is we got gym memberships. And we have ours at Planet Fitness. It's $10 a month and you get everything from showers to massages to a gym. And the gym isn't the greatest, but it will do. And the downside about having a gym membership um, is that it's not always convenient. You know, luckily Planet Fitness is, they're posted up um, pretty much everywhere, every city, but we're not always in the major cities when we're traveling. So like today, we were in Santa Cruz and we had to travel about 45, 50 minutes to come to San Jose to use the gym. So now that we've talked about the showers, we're moving on to the question that everybody is dying to know, toilets. So there's really only two options. You have a toilet inside your bus, or you don't have a toilet inside your bus, or van, or motorized vehicle, whatever it is you decide to get. The pros for having a toilet in your space would obviously be being able to go to the bathroom whenever you want in the comfort of your own home. And you wouldn't have to use those paper little thingy majiggers on your toilet like you have to do in all the public restrooms like Jordan and I do. On the other hand, the con of that is that you have to carry around your friggin sh poop around with you all the time. You either have a black water tank or a compostable toilet. And both of those you're gonna have to dump and wash. And they both smell like poopy. And if you don't have a toilet in your bus, then that means you're heavily relying on public restrooms and that also means becoming a pro at stealthily walking by Starbucks employees, pretending that you bought something when you really didn't to go use a restroom. And we gotta say it, in times of emergencies, we all do it. 
open in a bag. <laughs> God. So that's all we have for you guys today for our second two minute Tuesday. Hope it wasn't too much information. But if you have any suggestions on what other topics that we should do, leave a comment below, send us an email, write us a letter. Just kidding, we don't have a mailing address. And we'll see you next time.